Hello fans of Agile Coding. Today I want to show you how you can write better user stories for your team of software developers with the help of AI. Therefore, I will work as a business analyst or an architect uh, describing user stories for my team and asking a custom GPT to improve it. My name is Elmar Brauch. I'm software developer and architect in Deutsche Telekom. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy the content, please give me a thumb up. Let's dig, dig deeper in the topic. And therefore, let's first understand what is a custom GPT. And therefore, here I am at ChatGPT. I have a ChatGPT Plus subscription, which enables me to create my own custom GPTs. But um, let's first have a look here at explore existing GPTs. And there you find already a bunch of existing customized GPTs. Um, the easiest uh, way to understand it is if we jump to lifestyle. So here we can see, for example, a GPT, which is, yeah, giving you advice how to design tattoos for yourself. Or here we have a GPT giving you advice about movies to watch. So a custom GPT is always a general GPT as it is used in chat GPT combined with additional extra information, extra content. So that is how it is customized and that helps you to, yeah, get better answers to the needs you have. And my idea was exactly to use this custom GPT to write better user stories with the help of the context which we have in my team. And this context is, for example, the definition of done, the definition of ready, um, our template for Jira tickets, which we are creating. So with all those things, I have the idea that I can write better user stories. So let's dig one step deeper by creating now a custom GPT. There you can click on this create button. I will open it in a new tab. And then we have the custom GPT builder started. So I will copy now the instructions which I used to build my own um, custom GPT as a business analyst. So here you can see the first thing I'm telling is it is make a business analyst and a software architect who writes user stories for an agile team of software developers. And those software developers are working in a DevOps style, so they are responsible for coding, automated testing, deployments and operations. And now the GPT builder is dealing with it. It asks me for an headline, so I will just take this headline. I could also choose something else, but to speed things up, I will take it. Then it will ask me for a picture for this custom GPT, though that this is replaced here. I will also just take this picture because now it's not about optimizing the picture or the headline. It's so that you get an understanding how a custom GPT works. Yeah. So I will just take this picture here and then we come to the real custom part. Yeah. Now it asks me more details about how this GPT, this custom GPT should behave. And I prepared here a text which um, says you will get some input in a raw format. Your task is to format it um, so that I can just put it in the description field of a Jira ticket. Yeah, I want to have an easy copy paste and easy moving from the result of my custom GPT into Jira. Um, then I provide also a template, which is a Jira template of my team. Um, so that's the part where I can take a text file like this one, attach it to my chat message, it's uploaded, and then um, the custom GPT can use the contents of this file. And in this case, it's a template describing how our user stories look like. So for example, what is the headline in the description? Which subtitles do we have? What are the categories? How we describe it? You will see this later in action. So now I just uploaded this template and uh, yeah, here I gave more instructions 
based to those questions which I had here up front. But the main part about the custom GPT is yeah, you can customize it, customize it by giving it more context, like here in my example, um, the Jira template of my team. Then I post this again and um, the GPT builder will deal with it and integrate it into the custom GPT. To speed things up, we will switch now to the custom GPT I built up front. So that is the one of my team. It's called Comet Crew. That's the name of my team. Um, AI for business analyst. And that is the idea. And uh, yeah, here you see some details. But you can also um, adapt an existing custom GPT afterwards. Yeah, you can say edit GPT. And then here we see also what has been stored so far about it, like a logo. We have um, a headline which uh, is adapted to my needs. And then here are the instructions which are produced by um, by the GPT builder. Yeah, I was having this chat conversation as you have seen before and this is the result. And then here you see the list of um, extra text files I gave to it, like the definition of done, the definition of ready, when a user story is ready to be taken by a software developer. Um, I have some Jira text formatting instructions. I go, I uh, switch to the Jira homepage. I copied the instructions about how formatting inside a Jira ticket works. Um, let's have a quick look at this. So here I have a Jira ticket. Here you see the description part and there is no formatting right now, but I want to have it formatted so that we have sub headlines and, and that this text looks just better. So um, that is what is about this formatting. And yeah, there are other things like the uh, Jira team template I mentioned and the coding guidelines of my team. Somehow I duplicated the Jira template of my team, but probably that will be not a bigger issue. And now how does this custom GPT work? The idea is I just copy this text Yeah, as a business analyst and architect. I quickly wrote some kind of description for a user story. It's about extending an existing order REST API so that it receives order data which may contain a new field which is called the customer number. Yeah, the idea is if we have a order which, which contains a customer number then we are allowed to order a special tariff which has um, a special product ID identifying this tariff and then it can be ordered. Yeah, our product is a tariff uh, since we are in Deutsche Telekom. Yeah, so mostly we are selling mobile tariffs or fixed line tariffs to our customers. The customer number is between 10 and 12 digits. That's just something I made up for the example so that it's clear the customer number is something special. I also explained how um, a special product can be detected here and um, that anything which doesn't fit uh, it should be marked as invalid order and um, here uh, the final thing after we received the customer number and we received our order data yeah, then we send it together to the backend so that is the rough description of it yeah and the developers in my team would have complained that this description is not following following our template and that it is not answering um, the questions in a structured way. So I go back to my custom GPT. I just paste this text here and then uh, it reworks uh, the text in a proper way so that I can move it back uh, to my Jira ticket. So we have now to wait a moment. That's also something I explained. Yeah, please give me back the Jira ticket description inside a text uh, field in the chat so that I can easily copy it after it has been generated and um, here these stars and h2 and the code block yeah um, that is stuff which um, fits to the gyra uh, formatting style and which makes it then look nice inside the gyra ticket yeah so that's why we have it like this and after the description is now completed i will just copy this block here because it follows our template and paste it into the Jira ticket. I click on edit. Here I will call, keep this uh, line here to separate the AI generated description from the input I had before so that we 
might be able to compare it afterwards. Yeah, now it is saved and then you will see that it looks differently because we have this template which defines the format. Yeah, so we have now here um, our user story description. We have a scope of this ticket explaining that it is about a REST API which contains new fields. Um, we have some details about what to ensure. We have then a description of the ticket which describes um, yeah, the whole thing again. And then we have technical details yeah, being more detailed about um, maybe the scope or maybe the description. And here you see already um, problems with it. So I'm not so super happy with the result because the idea of our scope is typically to describe in one or maybe two bullet points what is this story about and what is maybe out of scope. Yeah, that are the things we describe typically. And then in the description or in the technical description, we describe in detail what should happen. So this scope feels too big for me. It's also somehow redundant to the descriptions we have here. So, so I'm not so happy with um, this generated stuff here. Another example is here it's talking about security and privacy requirements, which is of course an, an important topic, um, but it is like always important yeah for everything we do we have to deal in deutsche telekom and probably also in other big companies with being compliant to data privacy standards to being to be secure yeah and therefore uh, like no sensitive customer data is locked yeah um, that is something which fits a little bit but in best case the ai would have said do not lock the customer number because it's um yeah, sensitive customer data, but this is not written. It's like a general sentence. And that is a problem. Yeah, our template contains this piece and it says, okay, if there is something special about this, like this and that, then mention it. Yeah, like here in this case, it could be mentioned that we only accept uh, valid uh, customer numbers and that we block SQL injections or stuff like this if, if the user misuses the customer number input field. But instead it says, yeah, be... Uh, compliant with the general standards and that is like a boilerplate text yeah if you have boilerplate code you don't like it new modern programming languages try to avoid boilerplate code but here the ai is producing a boilerplate topic inside this description the same is for the test yeah here it says ensure all tests are integrated into our ci cd pipeline and it passes successfully that's also like the default. If I change code, I push it to the master branch, the CI CD pipeline has to pass. If it doesn't pass, yeah, then the code is not good enough. Uh, and, and here it's mentioned again. Um, what I would have expected about testing is that it says extend the selenite test so that they test this handover of the new customer number, make sure the rest of the logic is covered by JUnit, and, and that makes somehow sense. But again, it's more like uh, too much information and that is here the problem it's just too much information so the custom gpt didn't work for me but the interesting thing is like the formatting and stuff like this that worked pretty nice because that works so in the future i expect that this kind of custom gpt will have an impact for business analysts and architects to write those user stories but today, in my example, I was not happy about it. The interesting thing is I tried something else. I just used ChatGPT and I said, act as a business analyst and architect and rewrite the following text into a user story. And then I copied the same text as we have seen before. And the result is we have more or less good description here. So the general ChatGPT was better in describing it. Yeah, it produced a headline. It gives a short description in a user story style and then it has a list of acceptance criteria, which have always like a headline and then a detailed description and when i checked this up front i was really happy with it and and i liked it because for example it also mentions here in the at the bottom in the note necessary updates into the api documentation must be made to reflect these changes we have here a change in our api we add a customer number and it's good that it mentions that the api description should be updated so 
in, in general, as you can see, AI is a good thing also for business analysts and architects. But in my particular case, the custom GPT did not work well, maybe because my um, text documentations like the definition of done, definition of ready or our template was not optimized in a way that it can be properly used by an AI. So that is something we could improve in the future. But like it was not a quick and easy win to do exactly this, throw the stuff we have in the custom GPT, explain stuff around and hope that it gets a good result. But maybe for other custom GPTs in other cases, it will be really useful.